Merci les Kélias, l'arbitre de notre prochain match sur le cours numéro 2, Simon O, Hong Kong, Chine. Et son juge de service, Reza Roshan Omid, République islamique d'Iran. Please welcome on court to the umpire officiating Simon O from Hong Kong, China, and his service judge, Reza Roshan Omid from Islamic Republic of Iran. Et à suivre sur ce cours numéro 2, le match pour la médaille de bronze du simple homme, catégorie WH2. On court number 2, men's singles bronze medal match, catégorie WH2. Un représentant la République de Corée, Kim Jong-un. Representing Republic of Korea, Kim Jong-un. So the bronze medal match here for the men's singles wheelchair class two. Kim Jong Jun of Korea Republic to take on his compatriot from the Republic of Korea, Yu Su Young. 21 years young. Take on the 46 year old Kim. All the best. Clash of generations to an extent that 25 years between them. Yeah. You see a lot that I've, and, and I mean a lot of the finals have been a few really young talented athletes against older okay, experienced now, athletes. White or pink? You take pink. White will be your color. Pink. Service. Full jack. You've seen it in doubles, haven't we? As well, you know, you get partnerships. You have the youth and experience mm. against youth and experience. Had that. This, uh, these few days of amazing competition here in the Para Badminton events here at Paris 2024. Was, uh, Para Badminton making its uh, debut in the Paralympic program at Tokyo 2020. But you look around now, the crowds, first time that Para Badminton's had. And these have just been amazing crowds over the, uh, the four days of competition here. Unfortunately, of course, we all know with Tokyo 2020, that couldn't be the case. But here, uh, the crowds have been absolutely gripped with this uh, world-class entertainment that's been provided. And we going to get some more here, aren't we, here, with two more elite competitors from the same uh, commit, you know, nas nation as well here. And I see the Republic of Korea, one of the powerhouse nations in uh, para badminton. The warm-up can begin here now for this uh, ninth career meeting between these two. Meeting uh, the World Championships uh, in the year. Seen a lot, the players, over uh, the last uh, few days, of course. Uh, Kim here, his run through Jacobs, the, uh, the Frenchman, Levy, the Israeli, and losing that semi final, which is why he's in the bronze match, losing to the defending champion Kajiwara Daiki there of Japan. And his uh, opponent here. You were saying, actually, I think commentary, Casey, we know with, with you, the, the new generation, 21 years of age, is going to be top two, top three in the world and be in contention for the big prizes. Absolutely. There's Yusu Young and Kajiwara Daiki are, are both young uh, young athletes and very, very talented. And it's it's nice to see that, you know, we've got the kind of legends of the game still, still getting to finals, still getting to bronze medal matches like Kim Jong Jung but we've got this talented pool of youngsters coming through and are going to be... I mean, you and, you and uh, Kajawara will be the top two when, you know, if, when Chan and, and Kim um, retire. It's, they'll be the top two and they'll be fight, battling it out in, in finals. And, of course, there's Hellman from, from Germany as well who's up there as a contender. Yeah, he's, he's done, yeah, yeah. He's done um, a, a fantastic job this week and has been working really hard generally. So it's, it's an exciting time for the, the younger younger um, athletes in, in, in this class for sure. It's going to be a all Republic of Korea contest here for the bronze medal in the men's singles wheelchair class two in the para badminton. 
ladies and gentlemen, on my right, you saw your Republic of Korea. And on my left, Kim jong jo Republic of Korea. Kim jong jo to serve love all play. Quite a, a noise here in the uh, Mashapel Arena here for these two to begin their bronze medal matchup, both from the Republic of Korea, Kim Jong Jun and uh, Yoo Soo Young. It's an interesting clash of styles. They might be from the same uh, nation here, uh, Katie, but there are differences in the way they go about their work on the court, these two. Yeah, for sure. And Kim likes to play quite quite fast and, and flat and really aggressive. And you is a, a really patient player. I mean, obviously both can, can equally be patient and aggressive when, when, they, um, when they need to be. But I think Kim just likes to play really fast, fast slices you'll be playing a lot more like these kind of stop droppy type shots and, and hitting through the shuttle a bit more whereas Kim will be will want to will want to bring the pace up and want to be fast and he's he's very good at it. He's I mean he's a strong, strong player. Exactly that, you know he's Yu's played a, a lovely drop shot and, and Kim's come in and, and got that kind of shorter left, that flatter left right onto his racket and smashed it down the tram lines and we'll, we'll see a lot of that. We'll see a lot of Kim trying to create opportunities for him to smash and, and be aggressive. A lovely slice from Kim. Service over. Six, two. He started very confidently here. We'll talk about it being a experienced, really experienced player against a younger player. Yeah, Kim's been in this situation, not not the Paralympics, but you know, finals of internationals. He's he's multiple world champion. He's he's constantly finding himself in semi-finals, finals, and has done for the majority of, of his career which has been a long a long career and he's just got the experience even you know playing in front of this crowd and I don't think that'll phase Kim whereas Yu's a, a little bit younger and might be distracted a little bit by it and you know he's, he's a patient focused young man but I think you know Kim's just got this experience and he'll be able to deal with the, the kind of pressure of this situation I think just a little bit better Six. Seven, over. Seven, three. Holding on to this uh, lead at the moment. Four points for Kemp. Yeah, it's uh, a great start. Easy. Yeah. 
because, because you, I mean, we see there it is changes as well. Very, very soft style can be really awkward, but Kim, the way he started, is handling him. Yeah, Yu's got great touch and he's got fantastic, fantastic technique. His, his deception's great, but Kim's just bringing the speed and the power here that, that you you wants to play patient and he wants to create, you know, like nice opportunities to play, you know, to get Kim moving on diagonals. He, he doesn't play too many smashes, you, to be honest, um, and, unless he's right at the front. And whereas Kim will take that opportunity to, you know, smash and he smashes in the right the right area, you know, he's, he's won two points there down the tram lines, having set himself up perfectly. Just, was there just a bit of fatigue at the end of the point there because chance was there and he misses it though to go to that corner. Yeah, long rally. So went for a flat, flat clear and he just had it out the side, but there's got to be a little bit of fatigue for sure. Kim just misses his mark there, so another point for you. Running by six. Oh, lovely shot. That's something you does really well. Hold his racket and just brings it, brings the shuttle down. Short swing. His preparation and his overheads is the exact same every single time. Gets his racket off the wheel super quick. Just holds it that little bit longer and can be so deceptive from there. Over. 11 6. It's five points. The advantage for Kim at the mid game interval. Yeah, Kim started really strong in this first game. He got a really good lead um, right at the start and playing really, really aggressively. He's won a couple of points from smashes down the, down the tram lines. He's created fantastic opportunities from himself. The longer rallies. You know, a couple of mistakes have creeped in from you, but also some of the longer rallies he's been able to take advantage of his skill and his that, that hold and deception he has in his overhead. I can see you coming back into this game quite nicely. I don't I don't imagine it will be a, a, a run from Kim here. I might be wrong, but I, I can imagine you getting he's now kind of settled first half of the first games out. You can he can look to, to take a few more points on, on this end quite quickly. Yeah, beautiful point again from Kim. Just underlines how well he's playing, how well he's putting these points together out here. Look at that spin. He's so quick. Oh, 
great shot yeah. from you. Again, just that hold and that fast racket. He brings the shuttle down at such an angle. He's, it's a fantastic shot he's got there. And again, 14, he, he can hit it so well, that, that drop shot and that slice, and he's made a, a couple of mistakes there. It's cost him, you know, a three-point difference to a five-point difference. He needs to be patient. When he's patient in the rallies, and he opens up the opportunity to hit that shot cleanly and, and hit it effectively, he's winning points. He's got to build it up first. So it's over. OK, back to four behind again Ten, here. 14. Yeah. Got a, got a bit lost there, Kim. Seemed to pick the wrong option prior to that. Yeah, I think he thought he was going to catch you out. He was going to play that shot and move back. But Yus, he's got such long reach, he would have been better. He was so quick into the net, Kim. He would have been better holding that and trying to 12, flick it or punch 14. it up over his head and, and get him leaning back. Oh, it's long. 14 oh. Well, seven points, Kim led by. Led by five at the mid game. 15 14. What about this? Yeah, I think uh, you just needed to settle. I think the first game, he, he had a really tough loss in his semi final to, to Chan, and he was very emotional after it. And I think he's. He's just needed to get that first half of the game out of his system, get back on the same court that he, that he lost on in the, in the semi-finals, and he just needed to get that out of his system, I think. And he's this is more, you know, what I was expecting, point for point. Um, oh, again, sixteen. That was right in the box. Second time into that pocket in a row. Oh, brilliant. Lovely. Brilliant death so touch. He took that so early. He's the speed of Kim just to get near it, but it just wasn't enough. He just creates magic from some really awkward positions, you. <laughs> Kim is just smiling, <laughs> kind of almost laughing at how good that was from his opponent. Not that time. 
18. Oh. It's now developed as she was suggesting a short while ago. This is more the kind of tight opening game that we expected, not with Kim leading by seven at one stage, leading by five at the mid game. They're yeah. locked now. I think you just needed to settle, really. And Kim came out really strong and really aggressive and Yu's not giving him that too many opportunities in this half to, to show that same aggression. It's a great, great push from, from Kim. Clip the tape, caught the line. 18 all. Nineteen eighteen. Moves in front again, two points. From taking this opening game, Rambri trail by seven at one stage. That's in. Yeah. Yep. Twenty. Game point. Eighteen. What a turnaround for for you. Game points. At least three, if not four or five, of those drop shots and in, into the net. And when he hits them perfectly, they're perfect. But he's, he's made a few mistakes, and it's not the time to try and hit too tight. Again, it's coming back to, to just being a bit patient. And when he's patient in the rallies, he's, he's opening himself up with op good opportunities. But he's you know tried to finish that too early. No, it's not good. And it is the opening game. What a game to win for you, so young. Trailed by seven points at one stage in that. But Kim Jung Jun finds himself a game down in this bronze medal match to his compatriot. 21 19 on his second game point there for you, so young, to win the opening game. Yeah, you fantastic second second half there from you. A, a few mistakes, but he played much more patient. He didn't give Kim a chance to attack. There was far le far fewer smashes smashes opportunities from Kim, and he won a few points in that first half from that aggression. But you's not giving him the chance. Kim's very much having to to stretch and reach for a lot of a lot of you's shots because of the depth and the, the flatness of how he's playing. He's not he's not giving too many high clears to Kim to give him time. He's not playing them flat enough that Kim can cut it out, really. It's, yeah, he's much better.
service over. One love. Similar start for Kim in this second game. A couple of points ahead, just a few mistakes from you. Another one out the back. Still trying to play like flat, punchy clears, but he's, you know, I'd, the drift might have changed slightly. He's hitting them, you know, he's hitting them out the back, and it's the wrong time to be playing smashes. He's off balance. He's moving backwards. Kim's just sitting in the middle of the court. It's, don't know, just trying to change things up a little bit for for you, but Just gone very quickly this uh, start here. Similarities in a sense. I mean, it wasn't six points in a row to begin, but you know, you talked about you talked about not settling, being seven points behind at one stage, and he clawed his way back. I mean, he, he did it in the first set. I, there are no um, no doubts he'll be able to do to do it again in this. In this second one, he's only six points down. It's the first half of the game. He's he's made. Kim hasn't necessarily, you know, outright won a point yet. No, it's been no. very much you hitting long, hitting out the side. He just needs to to gauge his length a little bit better. Start hitting the corners a bit more. He's he's playing very much up the middle when he's hitting those punch clears. And if he can put a bit more direction onto it and hit the same power, he's gonna he's gonna be hitting them in. He also needs to get Kim moving a little bit more. That's long. It's our first point for you of this second game. Yeah, that's better. He's, he's found his length. on the line another long rally both playing really patiently an opportunity for you there. You played a fantastic punch clear. Kim was right, right leaning right back. Got a loose, loose shot to the service line and he's 
he had all the room in the world. He's tried to play it too tight. He's just extended that. That lead to six points again. Yeah, that's a good clear. And again, just slowly getting a weaker reply from you. Yeah, giving him the opportunity to attack just like that. Yeah, well constructed again. Led 11-6 uh, in the opening game. At the mid-game, 9-4 here. So he won't be getting carried away. <laughs> after what happened in uh, the first game. We'll know his uh, compatriots' powers of recovery. Oh, great, oh, great reactions, oh, wow. great skills from you. Really well defended. He's won the point as well in the end. Oh. Really well defended from, from you. Fantastic reaction and racket skills. It's, he's not just like hitting the shuttle, he's, he's, he's short swing, really, really punchy. He's able to drive it back so, and do it three times in a row. Not that many players can do that. It's good. And that is the mid-game interval. Six points the lead this time for Kim at the mid-game. Yeah, very similar situation to, to the first game. Um, Kim, Kim will know that. He knows that, you know, I was in this position the first game and and you is very capable of, of coming back. He got a great lead, Kim, with a... Six love just from you making mistakes essentially. He's cut that out now. He's, he's playing a lot more solidly. Kim's having to win the points rather than being handed them by by you. And if he can continue to keep up this pace, Kim oh, more than capable of, of taking this second game. He's up now. He's up by six points. We know you can come back from this for sure. But if um, if you can stay steady, come back in on this second second half like he did at the, the start of the first the second half of the first game then um then then yeah he's very capable of, of taking this in two stretches the lead Oh. A huge rally. Well, he can smash. He doesn't. He was there, right there, on top of the net. 
Uh, I mean, it's it's that set up shot, really. Yeah. He's he's punched punched him right to the back. He's he's so he's horizontal to the floor whilst he's hitting it. And he, you can't get any power from there. I mean, you can get power from there, obviously, but from from that position, Kim was in. He's that's tough, and and use put it away perfectly. Oh! No. Yeah, it's in. Is it? It is. He's made that. Yeah, oh. he's made it. <laughs> Total reaction. Shot just, there. just got a racket to it. I mean, it could have been any could have been any shot that came from that. He just got a racket to it and he's he's got a little bit lucky there, but it's a great reaction. Crucial point. Difference between uh, four point lead and a six. Especially now you think about it. You may be getting another run together here. Yeah, he's more than capable of it. Yeah, definitely more unforced errors from from you in this game. If you can, if you can just be consistent. If you can keep the shuttle into the court, you know he's he's shown a few times in this second half that he can break he can break him down. You know if he can play smart, get him moving, get him flat on that round ahead, get a weak reply. He can hit great angles. You he just he's, he's hit too many of of the the unforced errors. That's a lovely shot from Kim. Yep. Just takes the pace off it. Great change of direction. Great, great angle. And again, a lovely shot. That return to serve, perfect to get the weak reply. shoulder there it's good and looking now like we are going to be going here no comeback this time as yet from you I think with the consistency of, of you in this game the the chances of him being able to to come back I mean just as I've said that he's, he's won a point but it's he's not been consistent enough no. to to keep you know to bring back eight points and to level it up at 19 all
Yeah, great shot again from Kim. Three, two outright winners and one fantastic setup from that that cross court stop drop. It's it's great and it's given him eight game points. Indeed. Bites at closing it there that he couldn't take. Still, obviously, a succession of game points here for Kim. Long again. Five game points saved. Mm. To the sixth game point now. Grateful for the cushion he built himself here, Kim. afraid to say anything because every time I say something the opposite happens <laughs> so I'm, I'm just going to watch and enjoy <laughs> No, you, would you believe this? This is, I mean, it's happened. It's happened before. Yeah. But, you know, it's this. Well, I mean, it's also the fact as well that he had a lead in in game one in this. I mean, not quite. One more chance for Kim. Eighth and final game point.
You've got to be kidding me. I say... Oh. oh, my goodness, Ray. Oh, my goodness. The eighth <laughs> game point, yeah. I think Kim is... <laughs> Kim's reaction is gold. So now that I feel happy enough to say something... 21-19, <laughs> we're going to a decider. I was so worried. The amount of times that I've said something and the complete opposite has happened. So I was worried that if I said, you know, oh, you, you could come back from this, then it would, you know... It, so I thought, I'll oh, just be quiet. But what you did perfectly there is and, and the word is patience patience every shot he hit was either a clear a high clear up the middle a high lift up the middle a straight drop or a straight block what he did there was he said i'm going to stick in these rallies i'm not going to do anything fancy i'm going to keep every shuttle is going to be simple and you're going to make the mistakes you're going to you're going to have to win these points and that's what Kim did. He, he made he made all the mistakes because mm. but, you just needed to keep the shuttle in the court, and he did it but perfectly. For all that, deciding game. No. I mean, eight game points. That last rally must have been the longest of the game. With <laughs> yeah, seventy-five strokes recorded at rally, which took a minute and forty-two seconds. Obviously influenced by the situation. But with uh, 42 minutes on the clock, going to a final game here. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. You? Thank you. Patience again. He's just he's playing and he, he does this so well. It's one of his strengths. You is he's he's really patient. He's happy. He's really fit. So he's happy to to keep to keep in these long long rallies and play really simple badminton. And if he can keep the mistakes out, which is where he, which is what why Kim had that big lead in the in the second game. And he, you know, he's every, very capable of, of winning this and both of them are capable of winning yep. it in three for sure. Battle for bronze. So it's over. Yeah, it's interesting the way you were breaking down. I know Kim got the eighth game point to force this decider, but you're making the point about you compared to those mistakes he was making earlier mm. in the second, how he locked down. Yeah, and the start of the second, the second game, he, he hit a few wide, he hit a few long, but he was trying to... It's going to sound a bit silly, but he was trying to win the points then, whereas the last the last kind of half of the, the second game, he was trying to keep Kim in the game. He said, I'm, I'm fitter than you, I'm more cons I can be consistent. All I need to do is keep it up the middle and wait for you to hit mistakes, because the more you tire, the more likely that's going to happen. And he was just confident doing that. It was just really, really simple. And that's kind of how he started this third game. You know, he's, he's playing, obviously he's taking a, an opportunity to attack when, when they come, but he's very happy just to stick in long rallies again and high clears, high lifts up the middle. 
drops into the center. Really simple. He just, you know, he's got a, a wider opportunity here where he can be more adventurous and he can attack more. He's not seven points behind. Um, but he's, he's happy just to, to throw in some long rallies and wait to break him down. Yeah. Skim the tape. Three. And misses up. Misses with the following serve there. Gives the serve back to you. And that's wide as well. A bit closer than his serve. But wide all the same. Does drop on the line there. Kim back with the service. Oh. Yeah, straight at the uh, the body. Yeah, it's good play from Kim. He's, he's using the angles more. You know, he's playing right into the corner of use round the head and, and pulling him out to his backhand side. He's making him move more. Six, five. Brilliantly done. Service over. Seat salt. That's a that's a great drop shot. It's kind of going away when he was hitting it as well. Moving back a little bit. Yeah, and that's when it uh, we spoke about it, you know, before like that kind of low drop shot and getting getting that angle and it, you know, he's he's very good at doing that. So quick, but even he couldn't get there. Kim responds. That's a fantastic shot. Cross court slice. Right into the tram lines and use quick, but. Slice the shuttle. <laughs> fantastic. Great work from you and Kim there. It was another another long rally, but a really attacking rally. It wasn't 
you know, the, these long, high, clear rallies that we've seen, it was very aggressive from both. to go he's often tried to go to that corner this time sends it wide oh yeah good wow runner points there just so accurate you so young and this time he has the lead going into the mid-game of this deciding game, 11-8. They're quicker points as well. Much quicker points. They're, they're both being a lot more aggressive, playing more punch clears, fast fast cuts. It's, it's not like the end of that, that second game at all. Yu's not trying to defend or, or trying to just, you know, keep the rallies going to, to wait for Kim's mistake. He's, He's trying to up the pressure, he's trying to up the pace, and he's doing it really well. This is the first time in, in three games he's leading at this point, and it's point for point the entire way, whereas the first two games, Kim was very much in control. He had a good lead, five points in the first, six points in the second, and now it's, it's, it's you that's in front. Lovely shot from Back Kim. There, needed that, and he delivered it. In the net, it's brought Kim one point from from equalising. Yeah, that's good. That's perfect placement. Can you see that hold and punch from you? Yeah, it's really not much space to go into there behind Kim. just needs to keep at least two points ahead here if he's playing really really well
a great choice. <laughs> great choice. He could have went for a big smash, but there's a huge gap at the front, so that's perfect. Feathered it. Lovely shot. Great choice. that as well is this the telling push being made here by you Just a run of, shot. run of unbelievable points. Look at this. Yep. Just holds it just a split second. Lovely oh, shot from Kim, Kim. Kim responds as he needed to do. Turning by four now. 16. That's a great shot. Playing pretty much an hour here now in this one. Now, quite advanced stages of this deciding game. Wonderful. He's, he's got Kim moving all sorts of ways at the, the front of the court. And again, what a great choice from, from you. He's making smart decisions. Not this time. Service over. See what he's trying to do, but he's, he's just over hit it a few inches out. He read that one that time from Kemi, he saw he was taking it late. He knows that that's a shot that he likes to play that cross court drop, and he's read it, but he's hit the mistake. But great read. Eroding. that one he's hit it almost perfect every time 
the last few rallies he's hit about five or six of those cross drops and he's he's made that mistake on that one and he finds himself here three points from the bronze medal Still three away. Let's forget that that punch in, that smash. Well, now well, this is going to the wire. Oh my goodness, what a shot! It's a lead of five he had not too long ago here, used, <laughs> and it's been wiped out. Just he's hit so many good <laughs> slices across there into that pocket. Not that time. It's wide from Kim. So it's over. Oh, right to the wire, this one. 19 over. all in the third game for the bronze medal. That's oh, good. And it's third so time it's that Kim has found that back line. And it gives him here bronze medal point. Now he does make it this time. As good as any that he sliced that he's hit to save the bronze medal point. Neither of them are want to take any risks here. Mm, reminds you of the end of the second game. <laughs> 100%. Just exhausted at the end, I think, and understandable. What a point! Service over. 21, 20. We have a 75-stroke rally 
the end of that second game. Now this one here, second. Oh, so. It's medal point and gone again. A I mean, fast return of serve from, from you. Just changed the pace up. One of those blocks that could have easily... Yeah, that previous rally, one just before last, 65 strokes. Oh. oh, that looked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah that definitely Used. was out. Good. Agree with that. Good umpiring as well. Line nearest to him, and he jumped in there at a big moment. Bronze medal point now for you. Oh, that's out. That's out. Another wonderful cross-court drop from Kim and Hughes just tried to find that line, tried to hit the winner, and it's just it's come short. Both have had bronze medal points now. Another chance coming up for Kim. He's had two already. You just had a bronze medal point. Both have had chances. Here's another. Oh, he's done it. He's done it this time. Oh. <laughs> What a game. Fantastic work by Kim Jong-jun. Oh, my goodness. What a matchup. Yeah, the two compatriots embrace Republic of Korea putting on a show here in the power of badminton. The men's singles wheelchair class two. Bronze medal is won by the third seed, Kim Jong-jun, who saves a bronze medal point to do it. Yu Su Young, whose time will surely come in that respect, just 21 years of age. He was so close, they gave it everything, and the crowd showed their appreciation here in Paris for the effort from these two men. Amazing match, one hour and nine minutes. Kim, the victor. Fantastic finish here from Kim. I mean, you, you said it, you, you so young is, is, is young. He's got at least two, three, potentially four more Paralympics in him. And his time will come. And he's such a talented, talented young athlete. And this will sting for him, you know, being so close. But what a comeback in that in that second, both first and second games. He was he was down by a lot and he's um, he's come back, won the first. You know, that comeback in the second was incredible and to, to to be so close in the third will will hurt, but he's got years ahead of him, and he'll be in he'll be in all of these final stages of Paralympics to come. Fan fantastic match, great display of of wheelchair two badminton.